We here at Daily Mail TV follow celebrities every move, especially when they actually move. It is now time for celebrity real estate and here to break down this week's hottest listings is our very own Charlie Langston coming to us from our New York newsroom. So Charlie, first up today, Michelle Pfeiffer and her husband, they're selling their California estate just outside of San Francisco. So Charlie, how much for this place? $29.5 million, which is a pretty hefty sum of money, but I've got to say it is worth it. It's just under nine acres, the kind of property as a whole. Michelle actually bought it in two installments. She bought the first section in 2004, the second section in 2008 for a total of 20 million. It has a Spanish style main house, three guest apartments. It's got everything else you might need. It's got a hot tub, a pool, a tennis court, you know, just the average amenities for the average human. It also has a really interesting octagonal stable, so it's perfect for an equestrian fan. It's in a very private area, so anyone who's looking to kind of get away from the crowds, this is a great one for them. They actually bought a property back in LA two years ago, and they're gonna live in that full time. They just don't need all of this space anymore, so they're giving it up for someone else to move into. Okay, so Michelle, she's gonna downsize. Ben Affleck, meanwhile, though, is upsizing, and he just bought a huge house in the Pacific Palisades and there's reason for the location too. Charlie, why did he decide to pick that neighborhood? It's just half a mile away from where Jennifer Garner lives with his children. The two of them have obviously split and he's really eager to be nearby. According to reports, his children have actually seen this incredible property, which he bought for a whopping 19.25 million. So again, another very impressive property, but once again, it's very easy to see why. This place has no less than seven bedrooms. I mean, that is just enormous. It also, just in case you're wondering, has seven full bathrooms as well as two half bathrooms. And in addition to that, they also have an incredible outdoor space. It has an enormous backyard. It's got a huge outdoor entertainment area that has its own outdoor kitchen. It has its own outdoor fireplace. And it's got a kind of partly covered terrace that runs across one side of the entire property. And in addition to that, we've also got a library, you know, in case you want to do some reading. They've also got a gym, the library has a wet bar, and it has a movie theater. Plus, Ben's walk-in closet is the size of my New York apartment, if not bigger. So it looks like he's got enough room for sleepovers for his kids and their friends and their friends and maybe us. <laughs> yeah, next time we get me, over yeah, there. You know. <laughs> All right. Well, next up, this is pretty cool. My pal and my former football teammate, Eli Manning, quarterback of the New York Giants, he just made a record off the football field. He just sold his condo in Hoboken, New Jersey, and it was the most expensive sale in the city's history. Charlie, tell everyone about this place. I've seen it, it's amazing. Okay, well, I'm jealous that you've seen it because as you said, it is incredible. He sold it for $3.55 million. So in comparison with the other two we've just looked at, not that expensive, but as you said, the most expensive condo sale in Hoboken history. It's an absolutely beautiful property. It has panoramic views of the Hudson River. It's got incredibly high windows and it's actually in an old old historical building so it really mixes a bit of kind of rusticness with a modern edge there's a lot of exposed brick and it is actually a mix of three different units Eli really did go big on this one all right last up today we've got music royalty who's decided on a rental sting and his wife Trudy they made a move downtown after selling their Central Park apartment for a staggering 50 million bucks and now they're renting an apartment with some futuristic touches so Charlie what's you unique about this new place. So it was actually the last project that architect Zaha Hadid worked on before she passed away. It's incredibly futuristic. It's absolutely fantastic. The building itself has some incredible amenities, including a private IMAX theater, a spa suite that you can rent to use by yourself, and that has a plunge tub, a hot tub, a sauna, rain showers, anything and everything you could possibly want. So irrespective of what their individual unit looks like, they are going to be very comfortable. Sounds like Sting and Trudy really love beauty, and if you move into a Zaha Hadid building, that's pretty big time, too. Charlie, one day, we're going to be there. You and I, though, are getting dinner with Eli. One day. Yeah, yep. he's buying us dinner. Same right. building. <laughs> we'll have the same building, big places. Thank you so much for your help.